Hey everybody, happy Tuesday, hope you're doing well. So I thought I'd come out on my deck today and because it's it's some pretty nice fall weather up here right now. So we live in the mountains in Southern California and right now, today was about, it was in the high 70s, so it's a pretty nice day, but this weekend, the high is supposed to be like 53, and so I thought I'd enjoy this, this uh, the time outside while I could. I know for some of you, 53 is like a balmy summer day, and I know for other of you where you live, that's just like the dead of winter right there, right? Uh, for me, that's probably more like the dead of winter, but I'm enjoying it while I can, and so I wanna talk a little bit today about guitar. You know, at, our, at M3 Creative Academy, we teach piano and guitar, we focus on just those two. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, but part primarily because that's really what I find kids wanting to play, at least through private lessons. And yes, other instruments are great. I love other instruments. I didn't know if you know this, but I actually play French horn. Uh, I don't teach it though, because there really isn't much um, need for it <laughs> in some ways. And I actually don't play that much anymore anyway. They don't have the opportunity. But I want to talk about why to play guitar. You know, well, first of all, anytime you or your kids want to play an instrument, it has to do with uh, enjoying making music. That's really what it's got to come down to. And so we we work hard to help your kids enjoy that and to have to find songs that they like and want to play. And um, uh, just as an example of that, I had a, st a guitar student and she she learned her chords and she was doing well and I showed her, look, you can learn songs you know now. And so there was a, she's like, well, can I play Shawn Mendes? And I'm like, well, I think so, name a song of his. Because really, I don't really know that many Shawn Mendes songs. Um, I mean, I turned 40 this year, right? Come on, how many Shawn Mendes songs should I know? And she called this one out, Stitches. So I looked it up and like, sure enough, yeah, she could play that one. I had to, I think I had to transpose it. Well, I was in the grocery store today and I heard it and I was like, I recognize that song and it made me think of my student and just the joy that she got from being able to play a song that that she knew and enjoyed and it was, it was cool to her you know and and so I think that's one reason and that's a primary reason just to make sure you're enjoying making music second of all it's accessible guitars are easy to find they're easy to transport you can do a lot with them also they're affordable too um, even an expensive guitar is far cheaper than some of the most expensive instruments like a violin. You know, if you're going to get a professional level violin, you're dropping 30 grand, right? <laughs> and yeah, that's like a down payment for a home in some places and and so they're expensive. A guitar I mean, expensive guitars, a few thousand bucks, and you're good to go. Uh, furthermore, they, they keep their value too. That's the cool thing about it. The other reason for, for guitar is that it plays well with others, you know. We, we like to, to get together and make music with others. It's kind of hard right now to do that, but we can do it still, and, and we'll have those opportunities again at some point. And so you can, you can get together and jam, and it, it's just a great way of doing it. Now, uh, one of the things that I, I've been doing for years as I've teached guitar is I have been teaching students how to play the blues, the 12-bar blues. Um, when, when they can learn, learn this, it, it, it's something that uh, they can learn a lot of things through. So what is the, are the 12 bar blues? Well, first of all, there's three chords. That's part of the easy thing, and there's a pattern to it. Second of all, it's 12 measures, and the pattern goes through the entire time. I start usually, I think, in the key of G, so they play a G chord for four measures, C for two, back to G, and then they get the D, C, and then G and they have a great time playing that. The other thing about the blues that I really, really love is that it has just these infinite possibilities uh, in what you can do with it. You know, I can get some of my, my, my youngest students playing the blues and doing it successfully and having fun making music and doing something really cool. And yet there are people who have made their entire musical careers in the blues. You know, think of B.B. King. Uh, his entire career was playing the blues and his solos on the guitar, they often involved, you know, six notes or so. Uh, and that's uh, that, that's pretty incredible that you have that much versatility in one musical form. So uh, a few years ago, I actually wrote a blues song, uh, instrumental, just for guitar. And because what I was finding was that you either had this really simple stuff or they just strummed along with chords or you got this really, really hard stuff that was just impossible for them to do. I have a car going by. So. <laughs> and so uh, I wanted to write this song so that they would have something that was kind of accessible. Um, anyways, it was called Midnight Blues because I wrote it. And um, I got done, I don't know, probably 10 o'clock at night. And then somehow the program that I was writing in 
quit on me and I hadn't saved my work. So I stayed up past midnight writing it out again uh, and trying to remember what I had done. So anyways, I wanted to play it for you today. Um, this is how it goes. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was, that was a fun one. I also had a section in there where they go and they would do some solos. I made a backing track for it, so they had a, a band playing along with them. It's a pretty fun piece all together for students. They really seem to enjoy it. Um, and I'm happy to do it because I like seeing students enjoy making music. And there's so many tools that they build into this song uh, that they learn and then they apply it to lots of other things that they know uh, a little bit more. So I want to talk to you also today about um, things that are happening in our studio. So uh, yesterday our fall costume restyle started. We do recitals virtually and it's been really successful. We, we are looking forward to another successful one happening. Our fall costume one, well, like the name says, kids are gonna dress up and they're free to dress up. I didn't make it a requirement, of course, but we already had our first video submission. We have King Triton playing Fur Elise by Beethoven. Uh, so be sure to go to our website. Uh, it's listed under piano and guitar instruction. Just pull, uh, pull that, that, that menu down and it's a 2020 costume recital. You can see his performance of it. He does a great job with it. And it's King Triton too, right? <laughs> um, the, uh, our composer spotlight this month is on Tchaikovsky. It's going super well. I hope you're learning a lot through it. Um, you should be getting emails on this if you're signed up for our email list. So be sure to sign up for our email list. You can always just go to M3 Creative Academy uh, and we have our sign up list, I think, on the front page and just you can go through it there. Um, we, we, we spend uh, every week, we send out a video and it just talks about composers, introduces you to their music because it is, well, it's good to listen to classical music because it brings such nuance to what we hear. Um, and so it, it's great education. It's good for us culturally. We, we develop a better, uh, one of the things that classical music listening does is it develops our EQ, our emotional um, ability to, to read others and ourselves really and be in touch with that side of us. And so it's great for kids. Um, lastly, uh, oh no, not lastly, we, next month is Brahms. And so be sure you're uh, signed up for that one. And that one starts the first week in November. Um, so I'm excited to do that one too. Uh, my, um, Darby, our, one of our teachers, is, has put this one together. And so I actually am, am looking forward to learning some about Brahms as well. I don't know too much about him, but um, it'll be interesting to learn. So join me in, and learn alongside me. Uh, also, we have a, another workshop coming up this year. Uh, it kind of lasts over a few weeks. It's going to be our Christmas music workshop. And it's going to be an opportunity for your kids, no matter their level, to join in on a workshop and every week, I think, learn a new Christmas song until December. Then in December, we'll have a, another brief but fun uh, Christmas music recital. And this is just a fun time. I know every year st students want to play Christmas music. So uh, join us for that one. Make sure you're, you're jumping on our website. Like us here on, on social media and YouTube. Um, so that way you're getting all the updates here. We, our desire is to serve you and to see you enjoying making music. Uh, as a family, as individuals, and uh, just thrive with what you're doing here. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.